Chicopee Public Schools, the victim of a ransomware attack. That's software that denies access to computer systems until a ransom is paid. Western Mass News reporter Sarah Ganelli is digging deeper for us, looking into how the school's been affected. And Sarah, how much money were the criminals behind the ransom were asking from the school? Chris, the ransomware demanded the school pay up $300,000 in order to gain access back into their system. We spoke with one student who said it's nothing her or her classmates ever expected. It's been four days since ransomware, also known as Riot, infiltrated all window computers in the Chicopee School District. The criminals behind the software demanding the district pay $300,000 to regain access of their system. Students say they found out Monday morning when they were in class. Within maybe 20 to 30 minutes, I want to say, my biology teacher had some issues and her screen just froze and she couldn't access her files. And this weird name, I want to say like Galaxy Quest or Shadow Galaxy, or it was something odd like that, um, popped up on her screen. Ashley Shamelis, a senior at Chicopee High School, says her fellow classmates were nervous that the ransomware stole their information. We were all afraid that our emails had been hacked or that our information had been leaked, and that was definitely something very scary for everyone in the school. School officials say data in the school district was not compromised or put at risk. A big question raised is how the ransomware got into the school's computer system in the first place. Western Mass News spoke with the chief information officer for Chicopee Schools. He says they're not exactly sure. Ransomware acquires its way onto a network and workstations in this case uh, by one of a few different vectors. For example, one way is through a spam email. Uh, the user could unknowingly click on is simply one way. Another way is through an external storage device like a USB drive that's connected to a machine. IT experts are now working hard to regain access. So our focus is recovery right now and bringing the school district back to full operation. Uh, on Monday, we restored all of the servers and the basic infrastructure of the school district, including the network itself. Since the virus only affected the window computers, students are still able to use other devices. Today, we were able to use the Chromebooks and iPads because they had not been infected. Shamela says even though this is a setback, the school system is handling it well. Luckily, I think a lot of the teachers in our school are well prepared to handle and teach without the technology. I think they do a good job. The school is not paying the $300,000, but it is unclear when all the computers will be up and running. In the studio, Sarah Grinelli, Western Mass News.